what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man. This is Misha the Jewelry. It's your boy Chris Stowe. This is Trap Wait Kiss. Man, it's your boy Tay Cummins. Here's Center 2 Flash. It's your boy Chevy Woods from the Taylor Gang. What up? It's Chew Jackson. It's your boy Looty Boys. Girl over there on the way. It's your boy DJ Girl Quit Playing. And now you can get in with the Bird Boys. It's your man DJ Motorman. I'm sorry I had to catch my breath. I mean, get the uh, spit out of the back of my throat. Because, um, you know, I was doing my thing before we so abruptly came on air. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, as I was doing before we started up, we about to get into this interview with Walt and Wesley. We're going to sit on the couch. Me and my man, Sir Flackwood. Let's go sit down so my man, yep. Spills, can handle these wheels. I got him. So we can make sure that y'all can hear us. Yeah, I, you, know you got to be able to hear us. You got to be able to hear us. You got to be able to hear us. Uh, is it all right if we smoke? Yeah. Oh gosh, please. Okay. Dang, it's please. not gonna um, it's like get you in trouble with any of your sponsors or anything. No, 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 no. We don't wanna yeah, fuck up nobody's like, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We want you to make money. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate so, that. You know Man, don't that's, wanna that's, fuck your shit up. That's a, that's you a don't real wanna good look, fuck your shit up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. In a second, I'm gonna take a rip of this Hennessy Black if you guys want. Oh shit! Sure. I mean, like, I mean, like, I'm just, I'm just, don't get it twisted. I'm just happy to be here. Man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Well, that's what we encourage here at the Tuesday Night Chill Spot to always do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Always, always. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? But please don't smoke, smoke crack. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Please don't do that. Oh, no, no way. Please don't. Don't smoke crack. Don't do heroin either. You know what I'm saying? Stay away, from, the the stay away from the that hard bullshit, man. Time, man. The hard if you want to smoke, if you want to drink, that's <laughs> cool. The hard stuff. <laughs> Ooh, the hard stuff. Yeah, you it's know Tuesday. What I'm Cause it's yeah, yeah it's <laughs> Tuesday. And it's, we keep it real on Tuesday too. It's some, it's some people. It's some people that's that's taking a blast on Tuesday. Damn. You know what I'm saying? On a rocket ship right now. Man. Yeah, that shit ain't cool, G. So oh, please, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing, but do your thing. Safely. Safe you know part hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, guys, please by all means. So uh uh what should I what should I call you? Should I, can I make up a nickname for you? Hey man, you can call me you can all call right, me whatever you want. Wall Wall Waldy. Somebody <laughs> called me Waldorf the other day. Waldorf. 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 Yeah. That's, that's yeah. like a Harry Potter type of Yeah, thing. right, yeah, right. Like yeah. Don't, like I'll I'll be the one to say like I love Harry Potter, but like I'm the like Waldorf. <laughs> Waldorf, <laughs> Gandorf. Like I'm <laughs> It's just you can call me Walden, Wally. Walden, call me whatever, Wally. whatever, whatever Wall you want to call okay. me. Okay, yeah. all right, all right, bet, bet. <laughs> so, so it's great to meet you, man. Very um, nice to meet you guys. For for everybody that don't know, we're live right now with Walden Wesley. Now you got this dope event coming up, yes. and, and it's yes. at Stage A E. Yes, now. sir. Yes, if sir. Anybody that lives in Pittsburgh right now know anything about Stage A E? You're just not casually getting an event. At Stage A.E. So, how did this come about? You know, it, I'm I'm very thankful to have like a lot of like really really great people around me and a great management team that have been campaigning for me to do something like this for, for 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 so long. So I really I really just have to I have to thank them and thank Promo West for honestly like taking a chance on this. They really don't do hip hop shows that often. They That's book, very they, true. They, they they book bands and. And um, so you just, don't you don't have a band at all? No, no, I don't know. I don't just have a band. It's just okay. yeah, because I I, know, I understand you rap, but um, you know sometimes you have a a rapper with a yeah. band. Yeah, you know, yeah, you no, no, no. I definitely I definitely don't just rap. I sing. I like to I like to I like to cover all all genres and all all spe- I just love music, That's you know. Good. And it was um, I'm just very thankful that Promo West was willing to take a chance on on somebody like me to to put on a show and to up to this point like we've we've seen like crazy success we're actually we're actually sold out of, of the club so we that's lit whew, it was it was Did you have pre-orders for that no no we didn't know we didn't have any we didn't have any pre-orders or anything you for a for a while online tickets were available and then on the online tickets sold out and then we had the last physical copies and then we sold them that's dope. we sold them we sold them out man. that's a blessing was, man that's it, it really is i'm 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 honestly like i'm really really blessed to have the people to have the people around me too because 
you know, they, they kind of got me on the right track and going in the direction that I needed to go to make, to make something like this happen. So Absolutely. I'm just, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the team of, the team of people I have around me. Now, have you, um, how long have you been grinding and like how long has it taken you to get at least to this point right now? I, I would say I wrote my first song when I was what, like 13 years old and okay. I've just been writing, held up in a, held up in a bedroom, recording music in Imperial for, for what, nine, almost 10 years now. Dang. So that's, it's, and that's it's, a long grind. and yeah. the, it took, it took up until the end of last year to see any real real progress but it's it's all finally starting to come full circle and the work that that has been put in is finally just i'm finally i finally feel like i'm seeing you know results from it in a in a time where where a lot of people are making music and a lot of talented people are are making music especially in this area of the city for me to have an opportunity like this just means a million times more to me because i guess i must i must kind of fit in with, yeah, well, you with, got, with, you these, your own with these with these guys a little bit yeah you got your own lane you know what i'm saying because you you're making your own lane you're not following any of the, anybody's footsteps you know what i'm saying so you found your own lane and yeah. and you and you read it <laughs> So I'm is. just I'm just trying my best man. I just I just wake up every day and just try to I try to think like what can I do today that I didn't do yesterday to be better? And that's and I feel like that's that's another big thing having the having the right mindset because the the show's called the the Dreams Ready show and to me the dream is these five artists that I have involved like all coming together and showing the city like what they're made of because we're not from inside we're from outside of the city and i feel like the small hole in the wall area that we're from like not too many people know about but it's all of these artists coming together and showing what they're made of like everybody's here they have the same militant mindset they're ready to like go show what they're made of and like we're all together it's the dream and the dream's ready absolutely that's lit. Um, shoot, man, you got me hype. I, I, I'm thinking, shoot, spills. You you got any beats? Yeah. Would you Would you freestyle for us later? Yeah. Oh, most down. Oh, shoot. Hell yeah. Man, I'm not just. I'm not just a. I'm not just. I'm not just a singer. I'd love to freestyle for you. Oh, guys. That would be lit. You yes. can sing freestyle. You can not freestyle. <laughs> oh man, you can do it. Oh, sing freestyle. Don't do yeah. it. Don't that, would be, that would be hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That would sing be a first. Soon. That would be Damn. a first. Damn. On the would be guys, I'm. I'm. All, I'm. Shit, I'm honored you even asked me to do that. I was. Yeah. Like, um, I was thinking in the back of my head it could be a possibility. I'm like, man, they're not gonna ask the guy. It has a <laughs> reggae single to fucking freestyle here. <laughs> yeah, can you, here, we can, can you can you talk to us about the hit single that you have right now? Um, which which one is it? Is it oh uh, yeah, yeah, bring yeah, bring it bring it home to me. That yeah. was um, uh, what, do you, what do you guys want to know about it? Man? I mean, like, I, I, just, I know I know uh, I met you when you opened up for oh my god, yeah, Bride. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bride. Yeah, that yeah. was I was I was eighteen. I was eighteen when we met Spills and yeah. my, my my laptop, I, I still I still have and work <laughs> off the same shitty laptop to this day. <laughs> but I took it to this show where I was gonna open up for this guy and the laptop just completely shit, shit the bed. It was oh my god. I was I was panicking because like I had I at the time like I had like thirty people that were gonna come out and see me and I was like, Man, I'm about to let all these people down. Yeah. They paid like twenty one dollars to come and see me <laughs> open for like fifteen minutes. Right. I'm really just gonna let them all down and then like this guy that I've just never met before But I watched him rip a DJ set like the set before was like hey man You want me to like you you want me to DJ for you? I was like Please like please like can you like can you help me? I was like I'll, I was like whatever you need like I got you He's like no man. He's like I got you. He's like this is what I'm here for and then ever since that day like yeah, my man, DJ yeah. Spills, like he just he got my back. Yeah, always, man. Anything you need, you were as the Burt Boys. We we're we're always here for an outlet to help anybody. For sure, just, man. And I can only, I can only appreciate that. Like yeah. I were like I'm 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 seriously just excited to be here. Like I was <laughs> like, 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 like I I really really am. Like yeah, I I'm, mean it, it's uh it's awesome that you're here. Uh, tell us about um what's like one of the biggest shows you've done besides the one you're about to do. Um, the biggest one I've done besides this would be um, I opened up for um, an R&B artist called Somo 
in 2015. It was actually a couple months before I did that Pride show. It was like a it was a sold out Rex Theater show. Mm -hmm. So there was there were there were a couple hundred people there yeah. for for that. Other than that, I've never that's this will be the this will be by far the biggest thing that I've ever been a part of and right. I've ever done. But other yeah, other than that, I've just done small little shows here and there. I did a couple shows with a couple of my buddies that are doing this one with me, but never a headlining. I have an hour to be on stage. Right, right. Don't fuck it up yeah. type thing. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this will be this yeah. is this is definitely how, a first. How many people are you? Um, so how many people are you anticipating on having? For the the show at Stage AE, because if I'm correct, it's like at the club, which yes, is like yes. it's not the main stage. It's not it's, right. It's, it's not cut, the main stage. Yeah, correct. it's cut off by the stairs that go up, and there's a small stage that's over there. Right, and that mistaken. holds that holds, if I'm not mistaken, 400 people. Okay, yeah, because yeah. it's like that whole side by the bar that goes I'm actually going to tell you I've never seen the inside of stage AE so like wow. this is going to be like this yeah, is you're just this, pulling up this, this, yeah, yeah I'm just pull, I'm just pulling up to like see like That's what I'm hard. like actually what I'm working with I've only been yeah. like to the outside yeah. so this is it's it's new and it's exciting I, I almost feel like I almost feel, I don't even I don't even want to see it like right. I just want to I just want yeah. to I, I just want to I just want to walk out and get yeah. there and just do it yeah that's that's all experience it yeah yeah so leading up until to till the event, uh, what's been uh, your mindset going forward? Going forward to the event or after the event? Well, just uh, with pushing a single and just like you know being able to perform um, in in this magnitude. I mean, even though it's only four hundred people, four hundred yeah. people is a lot of people. Yeah. Oh no, for you know especially especially like I said, the the most I've ever done was an opening act for. Um, an artist at the Rex, like for this is this is a four hundred people is a real real big deal to me. <laughs> yeah, that's super so, dope, man. So you know your people. Yeah. That's right, the, so. right. That's that was the that was the biggest thing. Is just it's our it's like our fans, like people that like wanted to come out and see us. Yeah, so, um, but the mind the mindset the mindset is is just have as much fresh material as I can to to you know to to perform and 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 become a become better at performing because like I said I have an hour I have an hour to be on stage as a headlining act and that's a new intricate beast that I've tried to tried really hard to you know plan for and 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 capture and really engage my crowd and 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 not waste their saturday night because like they came they came out on their weekend they everybody works all week and they came out they decided they were going to come here to see me so like i'm just I, my, my biggest thing was what can i do to make sure that i give these people that wanted to come out and see me the best night that i possibly can that's really that's really it. That's dope. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You seem like you you're you're a very positive guy. You yeah. Know what I'm saying um, you yeah. you've got some some cool ass music. Thank um, you. Where can people uh, get that music at? You can get it on um, Spotify, Spotify, Apple Music. Yeah, I got. I, I have a. I have a couple. I have a couple things on SoundCloud. Bring it home to me. That single that Spills was talking about that we got really far away from talking about that I was supposed to talk about. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm just excited to be here and talk about it. <laughs> um, it's all but, good. but that's that's the most recent release for SoundCloud. Um, my, I'm, I'm real big into like full bodies of work. Okay. Like actually like. Like building, I want to build a fan base that like will hear me from track one to track ten. Mm -hmm. um, so I utilize SoundCloud for for singles mostly, and then I I put the brunt of my work on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, and all of and all of those things. So it's on all the platforms. Yeah. If you want to hear him at all, you need to go to every one of them bitches and go and download it. <laughs> You got to, to do it. Download it. Go download that new single too. Please do, please do, because it's doing, it's it's going, it's actually going crazy. You've right been now. getting a lot of love from the ladies from that, or the guys. <laughs> you I mean, not to, <laughs> hold on, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, no, has it no. been a lot of the guys like y'all are fuck with that, or has it been the females? You know, uh, the the fe the females are the females are definitely real into bringing home to me because it's and you know it's a song. It's a it's a song that was written, you know. It was obviously inspired by inspired by a, by a beautiful woman, and I feel like 
it's important to make women want to feel beautiful and make them feel like they're like they're important and especially like in this time but absolutely that's yeah they, with the girl women definitely definitely are here for bringing home to me and i have i have such a like a wide demographic gra demographic rather <laughs> of, of people that show me love and it's just it's it's a little bit everywhere so i don't have just it's not specific to like one place or like one side or men or women like i feel like i just get i feel like people just listen to the music and they like the music and they just that's what's up music. that's what's up that's Thank what's you. up See that's what I'm saying. You you got the energy, man. It's it's very positive. I um, try, man. I drink my water. That's uh, what it is. Yeah, I'm hydrated, that's man. That's what I'm saying. Man. <laughs> it's like, you got to you got to drink day. the water. As I'm over here yeah. chugging Miller Light. Yeah. Hey, you know, there, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that Miller Light either. It is like water, right? Yeah, take right. What, Eventually, take what life gives you, and and, and what drink you will from it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, well, we really appreciate you for coming. We yeah, want you to absolutely. stick around and drop some bars. Yeah, yeah bro, real, most real, def. Uh, real quick, what I'm going to do, I'll play the single Bring It Home. Yes, that's what I was going to say. I wanted him to introduce that. Okay, great. Go right on ahead, right in the camera. Him. Yeah. Oh, we want you man. to introduce this live. Say, say this, you know, this this one was this, this, yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. get this live yeah. right now. All oh, the bird man. boys. I'm not going to lie. I've been waiting. Ten years to do some shit like this. Okay, let me get ready. So, <laughs> take it away whenever you're ready. Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Walden Wesley, and this is my breakout single, Bring It Home to Me. Thank you so much, Bird Boys. Thank you. Thank you. Walden Wesley on the Bird Boys. And shit only. Twice on Sunday. That's Walden Wesley's single, Bring It Home to Me. Catch him uh, this Saturday, so, Stage AE. I, uh, thank you. So we got some uh, we got some instrumentals over here for you. Okay. Uh, just let me know if it's cool. If you're so, cool. So can I? Some... So can I ask you a question? Can I go? Is, is it you can is go it allowed to go acapella? Can yeah. I go acapella? Yeah, if you want. Oh man. Go right on ahead. Whenever you're ready. Whenever I'm ready. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yep. All right. So. <clears throat> okay. Some nights I feel like Kay's the only person who can understand me, but I don't mean shit to her. Okay, it's like that, but with different words. I'm only myself when my vision's blurred. I'm only myself when you're obsessed with me. Cold drinks, crisp ones, that's the recipe, and damn, I miss my dad, guys. That's a rest in peace. His entity had entered me. I was doing everything but catching dreams. I was spinning tires, living tired. I think I let 21 get the best of me, and when I was with Hay, it was ecstasy, but I hate when my ex starts texting me. So I drown myself in Hennessy and give both of them whatever's left to me and see an exit scheme is important and I run every day for endorphins or I run every day because I run from the pain in my heart and I just can't endure it my future I cannot ignore it I spend all of my money on women to see them all smile and after a while they're laid up with some of their nigger figures oh lord but I'm on my own mission and see I'm an artist and I if you loan ammunition, see, I'll load ammunition. Because as, because as an artist, I know ammunition, and I'm pro-ammunition. Nobody can write like me when I want to. If you got a problem, homie, come through. We could sit on the couch and just talk this shit out. Is this texting shit really what it's come to? You know I gotta make sure my mom is straight, talking about a new job with an honest rate. There's a mountain of things stacked on this plate, so I'm sorry for the days when the call is late. Head-ass friends will call this fake, acting like they don't have a call to make. See, I'm young and I might falter. Life's a suit that the tailor can't alter. And it's young Wally. And I'm on the Bird Boys, and I'm just so excited to be here, man. Like, whoo! Oh, man. God damn. Woo! Damn. Real shit. Oh, thanks man. so much for coming. Man. Oh, dude, no problem. Uh, thank you so much for having Make sure me, guys. Tell them, tell them where they can find you again one more time. Everywhere. Oh, social more media, time. Uh, social media and all that stuff. Um, every Instagram, Twitter, all that is at Walden Wesley. Um, Facebook at Walden Wesley. You can find my new album, Peace, Love, and Water, on um, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, all all that all that fun stuff. And guys, I'm just I'm really just thankful that you guys have me out here. Like this was of course I, 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 I respect the fuck out of this. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming, man. Absolutely, guys. Absolutely. Thank Shit. you. Best, Thank you. Best of luck Saturday. 
Yeah. Make sure if uh, you look Saturday, see exactly. this video. Hey. Add us, tag us on on IG. Oh, bring it home to me. Video comes out Friday. Friday, by the way. Friday. 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 Shot by Wallflower. Shot by Wallflower. Ooh. Don't ever get that twisted. Don't ever get that twisted. I got so I got so hyped up freestyling. Like, I, mean, I, never, I never I never get to rap anywhere. So I just got real, I just got real excited. Real put that put that IG live on that guy. He's he works yeah. for Wallflower. Hey, shout, shout out. out. Shout out. Sauce. That's sauce. Sauce one time for the one time. Yeah. Wallflower. Here Friday, don't ever get it twisted. Saturday, March 10th, the dream's right. There you go. Thanks, you know. heard me. Walden Wesley. Walden Wesley. Walden Wesley. Ooh, what's the hat? Well, we got a pause for dreams ready. Do we got a pause? We got to do the applause. We got a applause for the bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, we got to applause ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, guys, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, Saturday, it's going to be a great time. We got freaking the Slims. We got Joey Tucci. We have um, Caleb Karate and Brad Corey. And then myself. We got an all-star lineup, man. It's going to be it's gonna be a night to remember. So, again, guys, thank you so much. Yeah, of Lord course. Wesley, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for coming, man. Absolutely, thank guys. You. Thank you. Stay tuned. Yeah, y'all stay tuned. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna take a quick break, and then we're gonna come back. Don't go nowhere. Just, just, just like we, you know what I'm saying. We gotta take a break. I Don't told you how we do. Come back. Spills. Take us away. I'm gonna right, play one now. more. I'm gonna play one more Walden song, and then I'm gonna play a uh, Pyrex Press song because he's shit. here too. Yeah. So Spills, that's what we got Spills, next. make sure you play Sparks, cause that's what I got up. Yes, Kingship only. Up next with Pyrex Press. Okay. Oh, oh. DJ Spills. Shout out to Pyrex Press. Killing shit right now. Live. He was just live on um, IG Live. You know what I'm saying? Had it litty. Uh, it's been going up. It's still on fire because. Uh, it's Tuesday, man. We, we always try to have it lit on a Tuesday night for y'all. You know, Monday was rough. But but now we got some some hot shit, man. What's Peace going on, brother? Yeah. Pyrex press in the building. Can we get some, bear, 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 some celebratory bear. shit? Here we go, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Kick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my horns at? Where my horns at? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. DJ Spills. What's going on, Pyrex? How what you, up, brother? Bro? Cooler, man. Cooler, man. You know, first of all, I just want to say um, thanks for having me. You know what I'm saying? Um, your show, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of all the guests you had. I'm a fan of how you conduct yourselves. So yes. I'm just appreciative thank you, man. to be thank here. You. So thank you. Appreciate that. Um, you've been working for a, for a while. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, what do you feel like has gotten you to like be where you're at? <clears throat> Excuse me. That kushla. <coughs> I know, right? Yeah. I need some water. Some <coughs> water. Um, what's, what has it been that's gotten you to where you're at right now? Yeah, man. I would say, like, really, um, in this music shit, man, I had, like, multiple lives, dog. Like, I had, like, the first run when I was super duper young, almost like a Lil Wayne shit. You know, when my brother, he from... Pittsburgh, we had Panama Records, you know what I'm saying? At that time, I was in high school. Like, I remember I caught my first case, got out of, I was in high school, caught a case, got bailed out, did a show at the Mellon Arena with Young Buck and <laughs> Chinks and crazy. shit, you know what I'm saying? So, super young, we was doing shit, you know, but things that are built with that kind of money don't usually sustain themselves. So, you know, he ended up catching his little case. And then, you know, after that, you know, I, I started to venture out on my own got up my squad and we was fortunate enough to make enough noise that we uh we fuck with uh it already had put us on to will Carlson and q at the time uh oh know, shout out the homie q shout out yeah, super shout guys. out to q because he's been a real nigga for a very long time consistently shout out to q. You know consistently a real nigga always um, been in Bedded in the uh, music game out of Pittsburgh. Kush game too. Oh yeah, yes, sir. Very Kush rare dude. Kush very, game, very rare dude. So um, you know, to to kind of answer that question, you know, after linking with Q, we kind of we ended up getting a feature with Mac Miller, and then we also ended up building a relationship with Rex Arrow. 
<clears throat> so right there, oh, yeah, kind of like what put very us on dark the visual. Yeah, yeah, we that shit put us visual on like the crazy. Pittsburgh map. Cause if y'all don't know, like where I stay at, I stay like 50 miles outside of the city. Is um mm -hmm. is Uniontown, Brownsville, Republic, Manessa, Charleroi, Washington, every it's all that shit. You, yeah, yeah, okay. all the way up okay. to the valley, all up to McKeesport, Clarendon, Duquesne, like yeah. you know that shit. So, so to be from out there. And kind of get the respect of niggas that's doing shit in the city, you know, meant a lot. So that that feature, and then like that feature allowing us to put out other content that other people will pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that kind of grew. We you know we collab with Be White with the 58s, and we was working with Grimes at the time too. Grimes, shout out to Grimes. I think he about to come home. Um, you know, so we just you know. You got you got a a long history yeah. in the uh, yeah. in the music in Pittsburgh. So um, you see the scenes come and go. Um, how you feel about the scene right now? Yo, that's a a spectacular question because like I remember at that time the shit was so hot, like it was it was smoking hot, like Mac. You know, Wiz, I remember the conversation I had with already literally was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I can fuck with you, woo, woo. And then next thing you know, it was like, well, Wiz is kind of blowing up, bro. You might want to fuck with my little bros because Wiz is out of here now. I was like, word. So, like, it was like, um, you know, the come up, you know, shout out to the come up, yeah, you know, sure. Mac, Wiz, like, everybody the whole scene was lit and then and, and shout out to people like the commonwealth family too i watched them come yeah, up they, they, they really had the city lit the star power sure. era, all that yeah. shit remember that yeah yeah you know s money G O V. yeah you know everybody. it goes on and on and everybody. on but but it was super was lit and of, then i would say groups, a lot of groups a lot of a lot of um solo artists out of every area, uh, rest in peace, little Brucey. Yeah, yeah, um, you bro. Know, was, you want to know something about Brucey, was, son? Yeah. Brucey used to so my brother owned the studio in Homewood, Panama Records. Bruce used to be in that bitch with me. His OG was Scummy, you know what I'm saying? Yep. From home with any street niggas know, you know, Scummy and all that, you know what I'm saying? So me and Brucey was rocking out early skis. Like, nigga, I fuck with F Block, Kizzle, you know what I'm saying? Like, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, um, for a while, it was super lit, but then yeah, I the seen it start to fade. The music scene was bumping. Yeah, but sure. it, it, I'm good, know, bro. But he was on the original Homewood collab. Yeah, Everybody yeah. still plays that song. Oh, that's <laughs> fire, bro. That's <laughs> fire, bro. He plays that yeah. song still. He, he trying to understand. give tidbits off camera. <laughs> 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 give it but no, yeah, yeah bro, no, bro. Uh, real shit. The, the music scene was definitely jumping was back like, then. So, um, Shadow Lounge, John Quest, BD. What up, BD? Come out of hiding and drop some shit. I'm still a fan, BD. Um, you, got, you got the yeah, uh, personal yeah. inspirations like that that inspired you to start rapping not it don't have to be local but like like mainstream anything like that yo like, bro y'all gonna not find even music wise any like inspirations out here you gonna find this funny dog my inspiration was mace dog I see Mace with the waves spinning. Yeah. They was in the suits and the benzes and shit. More money, more problems. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I want to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, yeah. somebody was saying, I forget, I think it was a comedian or somebody was saying that he, uh, oh no, no matter if it wasn't a comedian, it was actually Nip Hustle mm -hmm. who said that he, he wanted. Puff to do that shit, like reenact that shit, like yeah. yo, like you know, with the suits and everything. He, and what Puff shared was, he had just got a big bag that day. He just cut a check for like four hundred million or something like that. <laughs> she was like, bro, we, you know, what I'm saying we can't. I can't reenact that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't getting the check. Feeling, yeah, yeah, like that's a crazy feeling. So, and that, and that, and that, with that point of view now knowing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was going to ask, to to get away from that question, I was going to ask what, um, I would say consistency has been one of your things and yeah. you've been able to stay consistent with yourself and, and your music even right. as the ten, the scenes have changed over yeah. the years. So, excuse me, um, have you seen like your fan base, like age, age ranges change too? Yeah, man. Um, you know, like at first I was a young nigga, and like at the time it was like hardcore bars. So like I I came up under the biggies and all that shit. So I just wanted to learn how to really rap. So I became good at really rapping, and that was the thing. You know what I'm saying? And then <clears throat> obviously things change. Just the just it's still there. You know, there's still people that like really rapping shit. But you know, you gotta like 
be able to vibe. You can't be washed. You know what I'm saying? Niggas yeah, get washed and become yeah. them. Like, you know, like, shout out to my, uh, my OG Irva shit. I'm not going to call him washed, but he definitely <laughs> one of them niggas was in jail for seven years, came home with these young niggas on, man. What you making that shit, man? Just rap, nigga. I want to hear that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just really like being such a fan, like, you know, Mason them. He he made popular shit like niggas right. was making hits, so I always try to make it part of my repertoire to still always make hits. Like regardless of how good yeah. you can rap, still try to make hits. <laughs> and you know, like music since fucking caveman days, dog. If you can have a good melody or a good beat, it's it's always been something that people will catch on to. So right. so yeah, with me, crazy. my dem yeah. So my demo followed that. Like you know when we was you know doing the smack DVD hard ass bars <laughs> shit. That, that was the kind of fan base I had, you know what I'm saying? He played Rack Runner recently, and I got young niggas like Crank, because, you know, they wouldn't expect that I can turn up the same way and do it as good as a nigga that's doing it right now. So so the, it just keeps growing and changing, but I want to shout out to all my day ones, because I know they're watching this shit. Um, there's a, been a lot of people. Ones. Yeah, there's been a lot of people that just been a fan since day one, and and even though like sometimes they don't like that shit. Sometimes your fans don't want to see that shit. They're like, I like the anger racks. I know. I don't, I don't know about this nigga. I don't know. I don't know about them jeans, my nigga. I don't know. But you know, it's fashion shit today. I see you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna call out what I see, but I see you, G. Oh, yeah, sure. I, I, you know what I'm saying? You you fresh. You fly, and that's what I'm saying. You on your May shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you came know yeah, yeah, cool. On your gully shit, but you swaggy too. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I right. feel you. I feel you. Yes, That's that right. because the the these look fresh out the box <laughs> yeah, with right. these shoes that you got on. These look fresh out the box. Like you just fresh fresh out the box. Though? Yeah, bro. Like I bought these. I really shot yo catch wreck. If you're watching this, I'm trying to shoot this video. I bought them for a video with catch wreck. I usually like high shit and like these is kind of like me dog like you know they just classic and they just always fire like the threes yeah. is just fire dog like yeah. no matter if oh. is out whatever's out these are still just gonna be fired dog. you know what i'm saying so like it yeah. don't even look like it look like you walked out the box <laughs> like it don't even look like they touched your whip did yeah, they touch right. your whip yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, low key. This is this. I wore them for my daughter's birthday um on Saturday. Okay. So this is the Damn, second. Damn. So they the even got this is the second yeah. wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Second see, wear. I see how I see how you doing wear. it. This is fresh <laughs> Rex in the building right now in the Bird Boys. We live. Fresh Rex in the building. Can I call you Fresh Rex? One hundred percent, bro. Hundred right, percent, right, man. So you've been you've been uh you've been doing your thing for a while. Um, but. What you really been doing with the visuals is like turning up really crazy. Mm -hmm. um, how important is that for you? It's super important, man. It's just like, it's also something that like, so a, a smart person once told me, they like, yo, Pittsburgh got like 300,000 people in it. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere like Philly got like 3 million. So the odds of you being successful in Pittsburgh is like, you know, very slim to none. And then to be from outside of Pittsburgh is even slimmer to none. So like me doing this is also to show, like I don't, I don't like the consultation. Hey, pay me, I'll show you how to do some shit. I like leading by example. So I turn up with these videos and I'm consistent this way. So that hopefully the people where I'm from is taking notes and maybe they slide in that person's DM that they seen I shot a video with, you know what I'm saying? And you know, that to me, that you know, it's, 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 it's like more than just me. It's like showing where I'm from, how to do it too. And then also it's just a drug, you know, I, I'm no longer in that scene, but you know, you always got to keep work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that was the number one way that I like, how I learned how to come up is like, always have more work than you got money. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. because the work is the money. So like with me, like, I'll be talking to my partner, Luco, shout out Luco, like, yo, bro, I only got two videos that ain't dropped yet, I, I gotta shoot another one, because I just want to keep unloading, like, you know what I mean, consistently be able to drop something, you know what I'm saying, and That's I think our main opportunity now is just making sure we get to a wider audience, you know what I'm saying, but the but the work is definitely there. Y'all been putting in work with uh, shows, <laughs> with um, dropping music, um, projects, and everything, um, so shout out to you for uh, being able to be consistent in that rate as well so you've been making money back from music actually right yeah so 
it, it's sporadic, man. It's still one of those things that, like, what I want to, if I was, you know, my young niggas is watching or anybody, it don't even have to be my young niggas, any young niggas watching, it's definitely something that you are going to be putting more money into than you're going to get out until a certain point until you catch your break. Um, but, yeah, we made some shit. Like, man, I was, um, I did a record with DJ Fat. Shout out to DJ Fat. Um, he's from, from Germany, and uh, it was called Right Now, and that shit went, like, number seven on the... Um, German Dutch black charts or some shit. Yeah, so we got a chance to tour. We was over in Germany, France, um, Bahrain, which is the Emirate Islands by Abu Dhabi and shit like that. So he That's made cool. a little bit of money off of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we got a lot of streaming shit set up um, where we make money off of merchandise. Our merch is super rare, but. Like when we drop it, like people eat it up because it don't come out a lot. You know what I'm saying? So we make some money and we like shows and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got we your custom money. shit on? Like, do you, do yo, bro, you that's having the, custom listen, shit, man. <laughs> the plan, the plan. Shout out to my girl's sister, man. She made a whole bunch. Our new shit is these uh, patches. She made a whole bunch of new patches, but I couldn't get them done in time for y'all. But I'm gonna make sure I get it to y'all. It's, it's some, it's some lit shit, bro. Oh, I got gotcha. your knees, knees, there. Please, please yeah. bless us with that. Yeah, um, yeah, we we needs that. Um, do you have anything coming up? Yeah, like anything new music wise? Yeah, so um, we dropped. I dropped um the shit called uh, Below Sea Level. It's on that Piff. Shout out to KP from that Piff. He been showing love for a very very long time. He had it in the feature section, but it's um it's my most recent tape. I dropped it in um at the end of January, beginning of February. Oh, that's and, brand new. Um, yeah, and it, it's really getting back to like I decided for my day one niggas like yo I'm gonna spit that shit that like you know only certain niggas is gonna get you know what I'm saying and just drop some harder shit so that shit's out and um we shot a video to it with Rex Arrow and I'm waiting on Rex right now to give me the final cut so that's gonna drop um, my dog Luco got some shit called Cash Cal Capo he dropped a video yesterday called Time Flies Super Fire check our Instagram at hey. Romo um at Aha uh -huh Luco and then lastly, you know, we're going to, our, our plan is to take a lot of trips OT. So we're going to land in like two weeks and I'm dropping a project to coincide with that. It's called OT Trips and 30 Shot Dips. <laughs> so look out for that. You know what I'm saying? That's super lit. That's super lit. Man, so you you put in your grind to, to be, you know, be able to go other places and see other things and come back here. What What is it about like, having not necessarily just like pittsburgh because that's the city but you know being from the outskirts how is having like the city's love you had already spoke on but mm -hmm. how is having that um motivated you to be able to do it on a you know grander scale because you guys you guys are independent correct yeah 100 percent um, do you want to be uh, signed to a major at all is that in the plans so the crazy part is is how we came up was like we didn't get any major looks, so we had to learn independent, and it's just crazy that now the game shifted to its independent. So yeah. I feel like, for real, if I could just hit a, a greater pool of people, then we'll really be financially lit. Like, you know, we <clears throat> we bossed up enough to, like, conduct ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really need much. Shout out to my dog, Irv. He got, um, you know, Tendaji Entertainment. He, it's a management company. He He's, you know, running a lot of shit for us on the back end as far as, like, Atlanta and things like that. But, you know, um, the love is important, though, man. I had a friend who went to um, Atlanta. You know, Atlanta's like Pittsburgh, too. True, like true. you know, there's like a, a hundred thousand Pittsburgh niggas in Atlanta. I mean, <laughs> big fact, <bro>. yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. But my nigga, he told me he was like, yeah, you know, if you run down here and you ain't got no fans, then you just a lick for real. Like you know what I'm saying? You just be running down here paying a whole bunch of niggas to do a whole bunch of shit. It don't matter if you don't got like a core or a following or just a. It don't even gotta be super big, but just something that shows that you're worth dealing with like right. yo i got value too you should fuck with me because i got xyz fans or xyz whatever so it's huge to still have the support and it's it's crazy because you gotta like this moves faster than the real world so they get over your shit quicker than like you know yeah, i could right. drop like volcano a couple y'all that might have been your first time hearing it and it's still fire like low-key i dropped that six months ago but my fans are like, oh, yeah, he did his own walk. What's next? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, right, right, you still right. got to keep feeding them, you know what I'm saying? And, right. and, and 
And keeping them engaged. Yeah. yeah, it is, bro. Things happen. Music happens so for, like the music business happens at a very fast pace now. So, mm -hmm. um, people tend to forget, but you know you have to remind them, and that's what we do with promotion and everything. But you're doing the right thing, man, because <clears throat> it doesn't matter when you drop it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, people have short memories. Maybe it might be time to bring that shit back up. Remember, people. Uh, Y'all got a video for that? Yeah, so <clears throat> me and Wapo didn't do the video yet for the remix, but for Volcano, I shot it with Catch Rec. Um, it's it's pretty dope. It's on our YouTube. Um, Mulligan Cash Cows on YouTube is pretty fire. And uh, shout out to Wapo. We we did some shit with him. And um, I like to me, <clears throat> I like to always salute and give props to niggas that that I think is lit. Like I I'll, I'll be watching and like I I got a chance to be in the studio with Wapo and that kid he's special. He's definitely gonna do something special. I just hope you know the universe is with him and he can get to where he needs to go. But he showed mad love number one, very very genuine, very organic situation. And then he turned up the shit in like thirty seconds. I, I was like, damn, nigga, like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a very confident rapping ass nigga. That nigga had me like, damn, nigga, hold up, let me. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, let me go back to my car freestyle a little bit more. Like, I got to go back to that shit. So, um, but yeah, we don't got a video for that. But, you know, it's, it's never too late. I'm pretty sure, you know, we, we talk about it. We can make it happen. That's lit. Spills, you got anything, Joe? Brother? He over there pushing buttons. <laughs> Spills is just getting ready. <clears throat> he push your buttons. No, um, uh, I want to ask a uh, a serious question though. I know you and Luco been rocking with Mula Mula Gang for a while now. Yeah. Um, let people know like really like what Mula Gang is. Is that just good shit? Good yeah. question. Yeah. Um, so Mula Gang, I mean, really, it was the era of the gangs at the time. I mean, let's just be honest. You know, there was there was a lot of gangs, but the number one gang is Taylor Gang. Hats so off, you got to keep it one hundred, right? Um. So that's the era it came from. And to be honest with you, we're probably going to move more towards the cash cow portion of it now. Um, just to like, you know, you always want to reinvigorate your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like Moolah Gang and then it was Moolah Gang cash cows. And we might slip off to the cash cow. I mean, the dope shit is we got a lot of opportunities within the logo and, and how it is. So, but the, um, the shit derives from... Where I'm from, it's a scenic ass motherfucker. It's almost like on some Nelly shit. Like niggas don't know Nelly like was low key a big hustling ass nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From the country and yeah. shit. Like you know what I'm saying? So like where I'm at, it's the suburbs of this shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's still like a money bag. Like my bro from you know from the city. That's you know he became a millionaire from where I live. Like you know what I'm saying? Because it's just money is was ridiculous at the time. So that's kind of where the where the Moolah gang cash cows. Is derived from you know what I'm saying we just wanted to embrace something different next thing what's the uh, biggest show you've done ever so, so um yo I'll put this shit on my um, Instagram page and I'll tag y'all but you know we did a show right it was at the time it was the melon arena my nigga. so it was called the it was called the spring kickoff so we brought street niggas now mind you this is like <laughs> I can say it because niggas already did the time for it. Listen, we had fucking Young Buck, Lloyd Banks, Cam. No, we had Santana, Jim Jones, Chingy, Cassidy, Trillville, all that shit. He was like, "What do you say?" He's like, "Nigga, what you know? What it's like to spend half a million on one night?" That's my brother. He used to rap and shit. He funny as shit. But like, nigga, we was in Mario Lemieux's office, popping bottles, smoking weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the biggest shit. It was. It, we had the city lit, and the crazy part is about that kind of energy and that shit is like yo it's like a vapor like certain niggas know like and remember that shit because like you know concerts come every year you know what i'm saying but like it, like we did some crazy sh yeah, like some q always be like shout out to q though be like man you might have to make a documentary about that shit that was like some bmf shit dog like you know what i'm saying so that was probably the first biggest um you know shout out to muhammad we actually went on tour with lil wayne when he dropped carter one I think GLV was on tour with Lloyd Banks at the time, so we did um, we did um, South Carolina, and we also did yeah 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 you know what I mean. And we also did Atlanta um, too at that time, and that was pretty big too. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. No, um, last thing from me. Um, I know Motor asked you about. Do you have anything coming up? You got any videos dropping? Let. Um, 
give everybody like a background about like your actual rap influence because you're you come from like a different a different time mm -hmm. in the game than a lot of the people that we have had on here like there's a few that are around your age like you said kids of one f block and all that stuff right, but right. there's a lot of others that don't when know. we talk about that they, it's it's over it's yeah. Gone, yeah yeah so just for paint a picture about that time that you grew up and how how much it really has changed like yeah. from from what you used to be rapping about because yeah. I know you said you make hits now and a lot of stuff like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, like the perfect thing, I, I encourage everybody that's listening and anybody that wants to see more of what I do, I got a project that's called Below Sea Level and it's really like the sound of where I, where I come from. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll even give you all some bars off that shit before we leave. But um, that's like the, the scene. The scene was just like real shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, as much as you may be talk about yo i'm gonna tell you if if there's a record that describes me and how i how i do music jay-z reasonable doubt the evils you know what i'm saying like oh, you know <clears throat> you, you say shit but you say it in a cautionary manner it's not always in a braggadocious manner as much as i want to give you like yo i got this i got that i got this but like yo this nigga got shot this nigga got killed this nigga's doing life or you know i, I risk this this happened to me or whatever so yeah. that's that's really like where it comes from um so as much as i do a hit record if you go to the project that it's associated with you definitely want to get the flip side too you know what i'm saying so that's probably the best description of what i do and how i do it and my influence is just that era i remember like streets is watching dvd niggas and, yeah. like, look that up man change your life so do you, do you um do you uh, make sure like you get all your masters and everything when you put your music out like are yeah. you signed to um ascap or bmi or any of those yeah good shit. so what i want to say is it's very very important and very special to me free kills so like our group is me Luco kills and my brother Louis Lee. Louis Lee doesn't really like make music as much anymore. He's pursuing different things in life, but he's a producer and he's ill as fuck. But um we produce like we're lit. Like actually we produce some shit for Mac. I wanna say we produce we produce some shit for people, Luco especially. Um so we're lit on that end and yes, we got ASCAP and all of that. Um we got a um a distribution deal with uh with Foundation Media. They were really big at the time. They had like Lupe and shit like that. They did a whole bunch of like projects and indie people That's shit. Cool. But we get a really good percentage off of shit like that. Um so yeah, we 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 lit on that and you know, but the, if you want to know the truth, the truth to me and it's just really like the passionate portion is just I'd rather get it out for free to as many people as I can. Mm -hmm. Like it's just I'm just so excited when I make a song. I just want everybody to hear the shit. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? So like I I'm actually happy that streaming is around and it makes it a little bit easier because like, yeah. you know it was a little bit tougher to pay ten dollars each time you want to hear a nigga like you know what i'm saying now you pay ten dollars a month and listen to everything you want so like me i i just as much as the hustle and, and that shit is there it's just like i really just want niggas to hear this shit you know what i'm saying i just yeah. get excited still you know what i mean that's what's up man you you've come a long way with the music and you've been able to change and uh uh <clears throat> come through with the music as well like okay I'm changing with the times, but mm -hmm. I'm still here, motherfucker. Yeah. Still here? Yeah, yeah, 100%. We man. still motherfucking here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We live on the Bird Boys too right now. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying we're. Uh -huh. Mike just went out again. Oh, all right, here we go, here we go. I was like, I'm here sitting with Fresh Rex from the Cash Cows, mm -hmm. Mula Gang. Yeah. Cash Cow, Mula Gang, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh -huh. Some love. Uh, big applause for Pyrex Press for coming through today for the Bird Boys, man. Um, if you could, please give us a shout out. Yeah. And I can right there. Yeah, man. Shout out to the Bird Boys, man. Shout out to Spills Flack, DJ Motor. Shout out to QQA here. Shout out to everybody that's in this room. Shout out to Ray. You know, um, genuine, genuine niggas, man. And if you get a chance, make sure you check their shit out consistently. Not just because I'm on here, they bring quality people in here, so make sure you fuck with them, you feel me? You already fucking know. Yeah, because he says so. Yeah. It's the Bird Boys, man. It's Tuesday, the Tuesday night chill spot. Thank you for coming, Pyrex Press. Mm -hmm. 
we we love to have you here again, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you can spit some bars or something. Yeah, bars. bro, I'm going to give them some bars. And what I'm going to do, I've been thinking about it, Spills, because me and Spills, we did a function out here. Man, I'm thinking about doing, bringing some shit to the Southwest PA and bringing maybe some artists and doing some shit and doing a show. So I'd love to have y'all come out. Oh, and maybe we dope. can like do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all running up with me out there. Yeah, get some money and sure. have some fun. But um, <clears throat> So I'm going to give y'all some bars off my shit um, below sea level just to let you check it out. But this shit is off a, a record called Darker Than Blue. But it'd be like... Man. I won't stop coming to box down Range Rover. Bitch, give me top. Load the grill over Frankfurters. Last shit drop. Had the trap going flamethrower. Shit not stop. Moving beige like it's Daytona. Fuck a goalie. We shoot the goal up. Little bitch, I think it's time to glow up. Had the trap hot of Sarasota. All sour and soda. Pirates to Ayatollah. And Nelly died. Fuck cancer. Uncle Buddy died. Fuck cancer. Do the numbers, man. I probably died from cancer. Or in my city where the haters worth the cancer. And we ain't never been no dancers. Miller rocker for the gooses and the ganders. No limit, bitch, you take them like a panzer. Finish your bitch out her boobies and her candids. You can't buy me, I'm not for sale. Met the plug out north for sales. Pittsburgh Pirates hoist the sails. Tom Brown, Oxfords and Wales. Or with rainbow eating truffles and whales. Champagne, a cup full of L's. I might relapse and put a pack out Cardell. I should sign with the rock, I'm the Argyle. I'm the king, I can feel it in my veins. Found the power when I gave them to the pain. All my dogs got mange. Fox first, fox trotting in the rain. We can swap respect for the fade. We can swap respect for the fade. I need the blocks and the drop with the glaze. Fuck a op, we going out on the blaze. Feel me? Below sea level, check that shit out. You know what I mean? Bird boy shit exclusive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pyrex Press. Yeah. Killed it. DJ Spills, man, light that shit up, man. You already know what time it is, man. Yeah, willpower coming soon.